What many people don't realize is that kidney disease and inflammation are connected. In fact, in my practice, addressing underlying inflammation is one of the first things I focus on when developing treatment protocols for my kidney patients. A 52-year-old woman who came to me with stage 3 chronic kidney disease, her kidney doctor had told her there wasn't much to do except monitor her condition and prepare her for eventual dialysis maybe 4-5 years down the line. When we ran comprehensive testing, her inflammatory markers were through the roof. Her high sensitive CRP was 8.9. Her interleukin 6 levels were elevated to 7.8. These numbers told me that inflammation was driving her kidney decline. I'm Dr. Bismar Fan, a physician on a mission to help you break free from symptom management and step into a life of thriving health. Together, we will uncover simple, powerful ways to prevent disease, restore energy, and take control of your health naturally. If you're ready to stop managing illness and start building vitality, you are in the right place. Your prescription for vitality starts now. I'm Dr. Bismar Fan, a functional nephrologist and founder of Kidney Institute. Today, we are diving into what I call the inflammation storm and how this silent fire can systematically destroy kidney function. So today, we are going to explore the science behind chronic inflammation and kidney damage. How to identify if inflammation is affecting your kidneys and most importantly, the practical strategies to calm this inflammatory storm. When I talk to patients about inflammation, I often use the analogy of a fire. Acute inflammation is like controlled fire. It serves a purpose, protecting your body from infection or helping heal an injury. But chronic inflammation, that's like a wildfire that keeps burning, damaging everything in its path, including your precious kidney tissue. What many people don't realize is that kidney disease and inflammation are connected. In fact, in my practice, addressing underlying inflammation is one of the first things I focus on when developing treatment protocols for my kidney patients. A 52-year-old woman who came to me with stage 3 chronic kidney disease, her kidney doctor had told her there wasn't much to do except monitor her condition and prepare her for eventual dialysis maybe 4-5 years down the line. When we ran comprehensive testing, her inflammatory markers were through the roof. Her high sensitive CRP was 8.9. Her interleukin 6 levels were elevated to 7.8. These numbers told me that inflammation was driving her kidney decline. Let's talk about what's actually happening at the cellular level. One key inflammatory pathway is called NF-kappa B. Think of NF-kappa B as the master switch for inflammation in your body. When this switch gets stuck in the on position, which can happen due to factors like poor diet, chronic stress, hidden infections, toxins, it triggers a cascade of inflammatory signals. Research has shown that when NF-kappa B becomes chronically elevated in kidney cells, it leads to tissue damage and scarring, which we call fibrosis. This pathway directly upregulates pro-inflammatory molecules like TNF-alpha, interleukin-6, MCP-1, which recruit even more inflammatory cells to the kidneys and create a vicious cycle. Another critical player in kidney inflammation is something called NLRP3 inflammasone. This is particularly important in a diabetic kidney disease when NLRP3 inflammasone is activated in podocytes, which are the special cells that form part of the kidney's filtration barrier. It leads to increased leakage of protein into the urine and progressive kidney damage. So how do we measure this inflammation? In my practice, I regularly test for several key inflammatory markers like high sensitive CRP, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, fibrinogen. The chronic renal insufficiency cohort study, one of the largest studies in kidney disease, showed that elevated levels of these inflammatory markers were significantly associated with faster decline in kidney function. Patients with the highest levels had nearly doubled the risk of kidney disease progression compared to those with lower levels. I had a female patient in her 60s with perfectly normal standard lab tests according to her previous doctors. 
markers. But when we checked her inflammatory markers, her interleukin-6 was elevated and her high CRP was also elevated as well. This was an early warning sign of kidney stress that conventional testing had missed entirely. By addressing her inflammation through dietary changes and targeted supplements that helps decrease the inflammation, we were able to prevent her borderline kidney dysfunction from deteriorating further. Here's something that conventional medicine often misses completely. It's not just about stopping inflammation. It is about properly resolving it. Your body was built in resolution pathways that are supposed to turn off inflammation once it's done its job. These pathways produce specialized pro-resolving mediators, which we also call them as SPM, like resolvins and protectins, which are derived from omega-3 fatty acids. In many kidney patients, these resolution pathways become dysfunctional. It's like having a fire department that never shows up to put out the fire. Research shows that these SPMs can reduce inflammatory cells entering the kidneys, promote cleanup of cellular debris, and directly suppresses the fibrotic responses that leads to scarring. I've worked with a woman who had been struggling with lupus nephritis for years. When we tested her omega-3 index, her SPM levels were severely deficient. By supplementing with high-quality concentrated omega-3s, we were able to help her body properly resolve inflammation. Her kidney function improved substantially. Remember, every person is different and it is also important to find out what is driving the inflammation. The answer is not to do targeted supplements to decrease the inflammation, but find out what is driving the inflammation. If it is chronic hidden infections or toxins or gut issues, then we have to address that simultaneously. So, how do you know if inflammation is affecting your kidneys? Here are the basic tests most doctors can order through your lab insurance. High sensitive CRP, complete blood count with differential. You can also add CD4, CD8, comprehensive metabolic panel, which obviously looks at your kidney function, urine analysis, looking for protein or blood in the urine. In my functional medicine practice, I use more advanced testing like cytokine panels and measuring interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, TGF-beta, omega-3 index, comprehensive stool analysis, heavy metal testing, chronic hidden infection testing. Now for the practical strategies to calm the inflammatory storm, first adopt an anti-inflammatory diet. Eliminate processed foods, refined sugars, industrial seed oils. Focus on colorful vegetables, berries, wild caught fish, healthy fats like olive oil. Include specific anti-inflammatory foods like turmeric, ginger, dark leafy greens. I literally saw a patient cut her inflammatory markers in half just in six weeks after implementing the dietary changes and specific supplements. Her kidney function, which had been declining for years, stabilized and even slightly improved. Next, optimize your omega-3 status. Have your omega-3 index tested. Aim for at least 6 to 10%. Consider high-quality fish oil supplements specifically formulated to support SPM production. If you are vegan, algae-based omega-3 supplements can be very effective. Third, address gut health. Remember that gut inflammation directly impacts kidney inflammation. I did a previous video on gut and kidney connection. Maybe you need to consider comprehensive stool testing to identify imbalances. Also consider adding prebiotic and probiotic foods to support a healthy microbiome. Fourth, manage stress effectively. Chronic stress directly activates inflammatory pathways. It actually turns on the bad genes. Incorporate mind-body practices like meditation, yoga, or deep breathing. Prioritize quality sleep of 7 to 8 hours in the night. And finally, consider targeted supplementation that specifically inhibits NF-kappa-B, activation resveratrol that supports proper resolution of inflammation, NAC that supports glutathione production, alpha-lipoic acid has kidney protective effects. With kidney disease, you have to be careful with the quality of supplements that you take. 
make sure that you try to get physician grade supplements that you can find in our store as well so that you are not taking supplements that have either fillers or that have heavy metals in them remember the point is what is that thing that is driving your inflammation and what is it that is going to decrease your inflammation so make sure that you understand these things and focus on a personalized plan. I hope today's episode has helped you understand the critical connection between inflammation and kidney disease. Remember, chronic inflammation isn't inevitable. It's a fire that can be controlled and extinguished with the right approach. If you or someone you love is dealing with kidney disease, I encourage you to get proper testing for inflammatory markers, work with a physician who understands the concept of inflammation, chronic inflammation, kidney disease, and functional medicine, which is combining all these root causes to understand what is driving the kidney disease, and someone who can implement the anti-inflammatory strategies we discussed today. I want to emphasize something important. Even if you have been told that your kidney disease is progressive and nothing can be done, there is often much more hope than conventional medicine might suggest. I've seen patients defy their prognosis time and again when we address these underlying inflammatory pathways. Thank you for joining me today on Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma. If you found this episode valuable, please subscribe and share with others who might benefit from it. Until next time, I'm Dr. Bisma Irfan, wishing you optimal kidney health and vibrant well-being. Thanks for tuning into the Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma where we are rewriting the rules of health and giving you the tools to thrive. If this episode spoke to you, please subscribe and share it with someone who is ready to take control of their well-being. Also, please consider leaving a review. It really helps people find the podcast. For more expert insights and resources, follow me at drbesma.com. Your health, your power, your vitality. It starts with you. See you next time.